Now, if you're using a regular receiver, it's hooked up. Your receiver's hooked to the micro beast and they're communicating. But no servos are hooked up. So we're going to power on your transmitter and then the micro beast and wait for it to initialize. As soon as it gets done initializing, we're going to press the button for a couple seconds until the A light goes solid. And I like to go into the manual starting on page 36 and look at my settings and mark which ones I want to use. So in this one, it's the default blue. Go ahead and push the button again and go to step B. I'm looking for 200 hertz uh, solid blue light. So I just move the rudder stick until I get solid blue. And I got that information from this website. We'll then push the button again to go to step C. And I'm looking for 760 microseconds, which is solid red. If it says user select, that means you can set it in the software using the USB interface. I'll go to step D. I'm using a Fataba BLS256HV and it runs at 560 hertz. I want a solid blue light. And now we're done. We're going to cycle through all the setup steps until it exits and gives us a solid status light, no lights. We can power off the micro beast, power off the transmitter. And now it's safe to hook up your servos, and that'll be the next video.